What is going on, IF Warriors? It's your boy Edward V, and today we're going to talk about why you feel tired when you start eating. Stay tuned. What's going on, guys? It's going to be a quick video. I'm going to explain why the fatigue is there when you first start eating. Uh, it can be when you break your fast, or it could be not even breaking your fast, just eating normally and then eating lunch uh, when, when you're at work. Why does the fatigue slip in when you're eating? Now, I mean, a lot of people will tell you, hey, you gotta eat for energy. You gotta make sure you eat for energy. But the problem is that when you eat, you start to feel fatigue for some reason. And then you're probably thinking to yourself, what is going on? Why am I feeling this sensation that I just wanna curl up into a ball and lie down, put a pillow to my face, and just knock out. Well, I'm gonna explain the short end of it, which is basically part of how our bodies have evolved over time. The primal body understands the concept of eating and sleeping. The thing is, our bodies still have not adjusted from how we've evolved from the past. When you eat, it indicates to your body that you have completed your daily task. Remember, back in the times when there were just cavemen, your only task for the day was to ensure that food was found so that you, your family, can eat. That's it. So while you're not eating, energy and focus levels are up so that you can complete that task. Once you complete that task, of course, you still have the HGH increase, everything like that. It allows you to make sure you maintain your muscle, maintain your strength to be able to bring that food back home. Now that you have the food back home, you eat the food, what's next? It's time to go to sleep. A lot of you might say, hey, well that's just, you know, he's talking about the past and what, what's the scientific uh, proof of this? So I'm gonna break it down with the science. Before you eat, your insulin levels are down. Once you start eating, your insulin levels actually go up. Higher levels of insulin can cause a chemical called tryptophan to release and move up towards the brain. Once that enters the brain, it causes the hormone called serotonin to be made. And it is that serotonin that has been found to make you feel sluggish, sleepy, feeling really, really tired, and making you want to just knock out. So that's the chain reaction to what your body evolved itself to do from the past that I just mentioned. Another scientific factor that you have to take into account is that there's less blood flow to the brain. When there's less blood flow to the brain, and the reason that there's less is because it's moving from the brain to the stomach to commence the digesting process. And when there's less blood flow to the brain, you actually start to also feel sluggish. So this is compounding on top of that serotonin effect. Now, how do you stop this? Well, one reason why I love fasting is because you don't have to worry about that for most of the day, depending on how you strategically place your fast. Now, I've always told you guys, that if you want to strategically be as focused as possible, make sure that your fast always lands or tends to land in moments right after you've done everything you needed to do for the day that requires energy and focus. That means after schoolwork, that means after working out, that means after going to work. Those things that take energy, focus, strength, when you have to apply those things, it is best to do them at a fasted state because it has been scientifically proven that you will be more focused before you eat. Now, what do you do to avoid feeling sluggish after you eat? Because that's still kind of annoying, isn't it? Well, one thing that you can do to avoid feeling sluggish is to reduce your carb intake. If you reduce your carb intake substantially uh, as much as you can, then your insulin won't rise as much, not allowing it to create that serotonin. However, the, the blood flow from the brain to your, your stomach will still happen for the breakdown of the food, but you kind of cut it off 
at 50%. So you don't feel as tired and you will still have a good amount of energy to move, move around. Also making sure that the sugar intake is low. If you make sure that the sugar intake is low and the carbs, which turns into glucose as well, and sugar is glucose also, if you make sure that those things are low, you will increase your ability to have more energy by maybe around 50%, give or take, depending on how your body reacts to it. But usually, these are the things that allow your body's insulin to rise at a higher level. Our bodies do things for a purpose. And the reason that these things happen is that we have yet to break out of that ancestral rhythm that we had when we used to be cavemen. The body takes an extremely long time to change something as drastic as a body chemical reaction to food and to fasting. That's why the benefits of fasting are there. It is a hack that came from our ancestors who actually needed that as a necessity for their everyday lives. We have an abundance of food, so we have to create that element ourselves, thus intermittent fasting. And unfortunately, it comes with all of the baggage, even the fact that you get tired and you feel sluggish once you start eating. And please understand, this is not an intermittent fasting or a non-intermittent fasting thing. This is simply a eating thing. The moment you eat, you will feel sluggish because that's just how it works. Use the tips that I've given you to reduce your chances of feeling sluggish and hopefully it'll be much better off for you when you eat, especially if you're someone who really gets tired and has to knock out this may actually help you. Remove carbs, lower the sugar as much as possible, or lower the carbs as much as possible without removing them, but make them low, and uh, you'll probably be better off. Hopefully this video has helped you guys. If you have any other questions to any other videos that I've had in the past, I will have one here, and of course I'll have my subscribe button down here. Go ahead and uh, click that, or the video, either one, and I will see you on Wednesday. Have a good one, guys. Peace.